Hello my friends and welcome to another art journal adventure using stamps from All and Create and I will link to the supplies in the description box below. All and Create just had a fabulous new release but I haven't had time to play with the new stamps yet. So in this video I use three stamp sets from earlier releases. I'm starting with a set called Penguin, number 604, and I stamp both penguins and all the sentiments in Versafine Clear Nocturne Ink, and I cover the words and penguins with Wow's Clear Matte Doll Embossing Powder and melt it with my heat tool, and I especially adore the penguin with an imperfect beak. So, to make the scene I see in my mind, I need an ice flow, and I do my best to create one myself. I sketch in pencil and trace those lines with a permanent black fine liner. I am not need or want perfection. I think the whole process took me about five minutes. As I said, not neat and certainly not perfect, but it will work for what I have in mind. When I have my eyes flow, I move on to a set called Blooming Field, number 229 an old favorite of mine when it comes to beautiful flowers, and it is well loved. I stamp all the flowers in Versafine Clear Nocturne Ink and heat emboss them with Wow's Clear Matte Doll Embossing Powder. Now, let's work on the background, and I will make it in my Big Dilutions journal. I use texture paste from Ranger and a palette knife to make snow. I just scrape it on randomly and build up layers until I'm happy with my snow. To add just a little more interest in the first layer of the background, I bring out a stencil called Lots of Dots, number 39, and I push the same texture paste through that stencil in both top corners. The next step is ink. I work in my spray box and bring out Distress Oxide Spray in tumbled glass, speckled egg, mermaid lagoon and spray stain in priced ribbon. I start with the lightest colors, tumbled glass and speckled egg, and then I bring in the darker blue, mermaid lagoon and priced ribbon in the center. I want to make a body of water with the deepest blue in the middle. I spray water over the inks to make them blend and tilt my journal to get some movement in the colors. While my background dries, I'm going to use crisp icy color palette for these flowers. I have this dress ink in speckled egg, tumbled glass and mermaid lagoon. I start with the biggest flower, filling in the darker areas with mermaid lagoon and blending that more vibrant ink with tumbled glass. 
darker at the base of the petals and in the nooks and crannies and I use the lighter ink to blend out harsh lines. For that next flower I use Mermaid Lagoon the same way but I blend it out with speckled egg this time and I use these three blue inks for the smaller flowers as well. These ice blue colors doesn't show up well on camera but when I put it all together you will hopefully see how well they match the spray inks from the background in the same colors as the flowers. For the few leaves and stems I bring out the darker grey hickory smoke so I can continue to stick to this monochromatic color palette. To add some interest and texture to my flowers I bring out a stamp called Scripted Thoughts number 595 and VersaFine Clear Nocturne Ink. I hold the stamp in my hand because I only want to stamp parts of the text randomly and absolutely imperfect and I do the same stamping on all the flowers. After stamping all the flowers with that text stamp, I stamp the same text here and there on my ice flow. I have figured out that I need to cut off the black lines at the bottom of the ice flow so it looks like it is sticking up in the icy water. When the black lines at the bottom are gone, I use the same blue inks as I used in the flowers and in the background to paint the lower part of the ice flow, so there will be water around the edges. I also do it to give that white ice flow some texture. Now, let's start putting this page together, starting with my ice flow. I use Nouveau Deluxe glue to glue it down in the middle of the water. I put foam tape behind the lovely penguins and add glue before I glue them down on each part of the ice flow. I always use liquid glue on top of my foam tape to be sure everything stays in place. When the penguins are in place I bring out this dress ink in speckled egg to give the white parts of the penguin some shadow. Then I bring out carved pumpkin and add that orange ink at the base of the beak and blend it out with water. Now it's time to glue down those icy flowers and I glue them flat around the page, cutting some in half and gluing them coming in from the sides. To add a new dimension to my flowers I have this Distress Icicle Crackle Paste and I use a palette knife to carefully put a thick layer of that icicle paste 
over each flower, making them icy and crackled. Now, that cracked ice effect I want is hard to catch on camera, but it is there, and in person it looks like frozen flowers. I have these arctic flakes from Stamperia and it is an icy, chunky kind of glitter. I go over the flowers a pinch at a time, sprinkling the arctic flakes over every flower. Finally, I have all those words we embossed in the beginning and I cut them up word for word and glue them onto my background. Next to the penguins, I glue down the words you and me. And then the other words like brr, penguin hugs and cool. And now, this all and create mixed media art journal page is finished. Thank you so much for watching and following me on this journey. Until the next time, happy crafting.